These are the worst floods in Kerala in almost a hundred years. More than 220,000 people have been forced to go and stay in camps. Some of them have no homes to go back to. For others, many of their waterlogged possessions will dry. And for now, they're just glad to be safe on dry land. The authorities are providing us with clothes and other things. We have been given clothes, cots and blankets, as well as food. There are no problems. We are going to the camp. Floodwaters came into the front porch of my house. With villages turned into islands, rescue workers are using hundreds of boats and helicopters as they try to get thousands of people to safety. Many of those helping are local fishermen. Crops are damaged and so is tourist infrastructure. The week-long deluge has also triggered deadly landslides on higher ground. Most of them were doing, they, they were in Idiki and all when initially the landslides came through and they were rescuing people from stranded areas, creating bridges and all. Now the work has shifted more towards rescue from marooned areas, using, from water bodies, using these boats and OBMs and using improvised material. The state is braced for more rain and more rising water over the weekend. But this monsoon season should end in September and bring an end to Kerala's misery. Jemima Walker, TRT World.